when that happened i when when i realized that i caught the swindle i caught it i was like oh So, as I can tell by the title, I have another story time for y'all. I have not done one of these in a long time. And y'all like, girl, it's another one. It's another one, y'all. So, uh, this one's gonna be funny. I can tell by the title, this is about to be hilarious. So, let me tell y'all how this, I remember this story time. I did not make this up. This is 100% authentic. This is true. This actually happened to me. All of my story times actually happened to me. But like when things like this happen to me in my life, I don't try to remember it. I don't care to remember it. So it's like stored in the back part of my brain. And the only way for me to remember something like that is if something in the future happens that I'm like, oh shit, that happened to me before. And I forgot how this one popped up in my head. I think I'm always talking to them, baby. We just be telling each other stuff. And then this one just randomly popped up and I was just like, oh shit, I remember the time when blah, blah, blah. So that's how this one popped up. Oh, and y'all probably looking at me like, girl, look at you. Yes, I'm wearing my real hair. I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. Still trying to get adjusted to it. I just looked at the light. I don't know why I did that. Now I'm blind. But I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. So I'm getting adjusted to it. I like it. I wore it today for work for the first time. Out for the first time, like out not in a ponytail and everyone's like you look so cute like, we love you natural and i'm just like of course everyone's gonna love a black girl natural like you know we just need to there needs to be more of us that love ourselves natural so you know but that's another story for another day okay so yes i got my apple juice you guys want to say some some type of fruity drink that was a glue concoction no we ain't drinking we drinking apple juice so i got my apple juice hair done makeup done Outfit on. Nails not done, but it's alright. I don't know how I look. I think a shadow was casting on me, and I'm like, what? So, yes. Now I feel like it's super bright. Okay, I don't care at this point. So, we are doing another story time. I cannot even see myself because I keep staring at the light. Y'all, it popped up in my brain a few days ago because I told y'all I was talking to my boyfriend about this. And I was just like, oh shit, I need to tell the girls what this this story time. Like this this was some funny shit. Okay, so y'all yeah, know me. I'm I don't leave a detail out. So I'm gonna say it from point A to Z. So I'm home, I'm in New York, and my friend, let's just call her Betty. I'm going to say Betty. I feel like Betty's. Just, I'm going to remember it. I'm not going to slip up with Betty. Okay. So my friend Betty, she hit me up and she was like, oh, oh girl, can you please come with me? You know, I'm going out with this guy and he's bringing his friends. So can you come with me? Da -da -da, I'm going to go alone. I'm always going to be that friend that's going to be like, all right, you know, let's go. But that day, I really did not feel like going out. Like, I really was just like, I said, yeah, or I think I said, I'll think about it. She told me this earlier in the day, and I was like, I'll think about it or something like that. But I remember me not wanting to go, you know? So, I, but I, once, like, the time came, because I was hoping that maybe it was going to cancel or something, she's going to be like, girl, never mind, or whatever, we're not going no more. But that ain't happened. Y'all know in New York, when you going out, you don't go out like at 9 o'clock. Like sometimes it's like it's a planned event or like the event is scheduled for that time then you go out. But when you just going out spontaneously to a spot, a club, you go out at like 10, 11, 12 at midnight. So later that day, she hit me up. She's like, oh, I'm getting ready now. I hate that. I be so mad when people like... They, they actually go somewhere with them and then they don't hit you up until later and be like, I'm getting ready now. I'd be like, damn, shit, we really going. So I was like, damn, okay, we going. I'm like, okay, let me go and be a third wheel because I don't want nobody. I'm not dating nobody. At that time, I wasn't dating nobody. I was not interested in talking to no one. I really just was by myself like, and I loved it. But yeah, so she told me the spot we was going to. We was going to um, Babylon on 34th Street. It's 34th and between, I think between 2nd and 3rd, I think. I don't know. But Babylon. If you're from New York, you know what Babylon is. It's like a hookah spot. So we go in there. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then she told me like, 
who they are and everything. She just told me they was African. I'm not gonna tell you what part of Africa they was from because no, we're not doing that. But they was African. So she's like, oh, you know, everything's gonna be paid for. Da, da, da. You know me, I'm still gonna have my money, right? So I don't care. I was like, okay, girl, whatever you say, <laughs> I'm still gonna have my motherfucking money, buy my own drink, just in case these niggas wanna act funny. I'm gonna pay for my motherfucking hookah and my motherfucking bottle. Right, so I made sure I had some money, a little bit of extra money, just in case some dumb shit happened. I got a little bit of extra money. So I'm like, okay, we going. The Uber there was like $30, I think, which was insane because I literally lived uptown. It was literally like midtown. Let's rewind a little bit to like the time when I was getting ready. Getting ready. You know you're not, you know that it's going to be a bad day or like it's just not gonna be the, a night out that you're gonna enjoy when your makeup don't come out right okay girl you know what i'm talking about you agree with me when your makeup don't come out right you know you're not gonna have fun or something's just gonna happen so my makeup just wasn't coming out right i don't know if it was because i didn't want to go and i'm just manifesting like just my makeup not coming on right. Like, I wasn't really putting in the effort. But, like, even when I'm super excited about something, my makeup doesn't come on right also. So, I don't really know the synchronicity of when your makeup don't come on right. But I feel like this is one of them. When your makeup does not come on right, and, like, things are just being, like, out of your control. Like, the Uber is taking forever or it keeps canceling. Anything. That's when you know you're not supposed to go out. So, one, my makeup did not come out right, my makeup. And then, the Uber was like $38, $40. I'm like, what the fuck? I must pay $40 just to go to 30-something street? Like, are you serious? I'm on 121st street. Why the fuck am I paying $30 for this? At that time, this was like 2018. It's just like, it don't need to be that expensive. But, you know, so I'm, I paid it. So I go, I get down there. I'm literally standing there texting my friend like, girl, where you at? Girl, where you at? I remember I was waiting for her for a long time. I'm like, girl, where you at? Me? This is one thing about Lisa. Like, if you want to know something about me, this is one motherfucking thing that I fucking hate. Waiting for people. I hate it. Like... I'm that friend, like, hello, where you at? What you doing? Da da da. Then we, then we at the same time. Like, why didn't you leave before me? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm that friend where waiting for you is gonna irk my fucking nerves. I'm gonna harass you. I'm gonna be so annoying. Like, where the fuck is you at every five minutes? Because I'm literally standing here looking like a dumbass waiting for you. I hate that shit. Like, if I live in motherfucking, if I live five minutes away from our destination and you live 30, don't you think it would be a little bit more convenient or a little bit nice to fucking leave before me? So I'm sitting here waiting. I'm just like, okay, I'm on 30, 34th Street just looking like a motherfucking buffoon. Waiting. Then she finally shows up. So then we sitting there waiting. The guys, they they take a five. So I'm just like, okay, where's he at? Like, where they at? Da -da -da -da. She's like, oh, they coming. Da -da -da. So we sitting, we standing there waiting. I think it was like we were, we waiting for a long time because we went into we went into um um what was it um Dwayne Reed to go get gum and stuff or do you know like little snacks or whatever? I don't even, it wasn't even snacks. I think it was gum I went to go get and something else we went to go get. And then after she 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 was texting him during the, when they was on their way and just like yo like. Can you fill me in on what's going on? Because you texting him. I need to know what's going on too, girl. Because I came here for you. Give me the 411. I need to know what's going on. Because I can go the fuck home. And you can get my $40 back. You know? I'm not really that mean. But, like, this is just how I feel right now. Prior, during that time, I didn't feel like that. But this is how I feel right now. Okay, so, yeah. Waiting. These show up like 20 minutes later. So mind you, I'm already waiting for her. And now we're waiting for them. So... I'm just on edge at this point because I'm like, bro, I want to be in Babylon drinking and smoking hookah and getting some food. Like, hello, you got me wasted 40, 30 minutes. I could have stayed home and then came when y'all was ready here. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just like, okay. So then they finally show up. This was the time when in New York where when the Mercedes Benz C300 was like 
super popular and everybody had them like everybody and their mother like you cannot ride around new york and not see like 10 of them throughout the day like at least 10 you saw like that's the least you would see like everyone was buying it in white so they pull up they in that car the mercedes-benz c300 i remember like it was just because that was the only one that was like super like affordable i guess or like it was like the i don't know it was just the one that everyone was buying okay so they pull up and then she goes to the car she's talking to him in the car he stepped out i'm like mind you me and my friend we're both model we was both we're both model height like we're both tall girls so he stepped out and he looking a little short and his friend stepped out his friend's a little short too i'm just like okay so he's she goes to him and then he's like oh they talking 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 and then she comes to me and she's like oh we about to go to the spot um they got another spot that, we, that they want to take us to i'm like okay so i'm like how are we getting there like is there going to be another car because they only pulled up in this one car and it's, it was like four of them in here i'm like they pulled up in this one car how we getting there? I think it was like three. I think it was three. And I think another girl was there too. Y'all, I'm trying to remember everything as I'm talking. So it was three. It was three guys and then three of us. Right. But one of the guys, the girl and the guy was in a relationship. One of the guys. They was together already. So. So my friend Betty. That's the name I gave her, right? I think it was Betty. So yeah, so my friend Betty, she's like, oh, we're gonna get in this car. I'm like, first of all, if you know the Mercedes C-Class cars, they are small. A E is a little bit bigger, and then the S-Class is, is bigger than an E. It was a C. So I'm sitting here like, how the fuck is us two, our two big asses getting in this fucking car? Like, let's be realistic right now. You know, like, that's me. I'm all about being realistic. Come on. How are we fitting in this car? Tell me why I sat on my friend's lap in the car. Head like this to the roof. Holding on to the thing like this. I could not believe... I don't even know why I did that. But I feel like I was... I was coming... I was doing these things from the heart. Or, like, just the brain of thinking, like... Let's be a, let me be a good friend and you know i don't want to leave my friend by herself with these random not even random but you know she knows them but like i don't want to leave her by herself because you never know what the fuck can happen like the possibilities of things happening is endless you never know so i'm like i'm not gonna leave my friend you know i didn't even get a drink oh shit i hate when the cup do that You won't break my soul. So I'm like in this car sitting on her lap. She's check she's checking up on me. She's like, Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, my phone is dying. Tell me why. We went we went downtown and we went through the Holland Tunnel. The Holland Tunnel, that take you to Jersey. So we going to Jersey. I'm like, okay, we just gonna see where this go. That's me. Like I point I realize shit, but I'm like, let's just see where this go. You know, I know it's going to go where I think it's going to go. But let's not be me. I'm like, let me not be negative and let's just see where this goes. Right. Boom. So we in Jersey. It's like an hour drive. So I'm just like, I'm over this. Like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go home. So we pull up to some like apartment house complex type of vibes and the niggas get out the car and they speak in a language and then her the person that my friend was um speaking to he tells her oh i'm about to go um change da, da, da. i'll be right back so i finally got a, i finally got a seat to fucking sit in so i get off my friend lap i sit down and we just sitting there on our phones. I'm looking for a charger in the car. I can't even charge my phone because the car is off. So I'm sitting here like, okay, damn, my phone's about to stop. Like, and then on top of that, I don't know where I'm at. So I'm like, okay. I tell 
Oh, we so we sit in there, we sit in a car. Tell me why we is sitting in a car for like, we was in the car for like 20 minutes. I'm like, it takes you that, it takes you that long to change your clothes. Then once I like started to get super agitated, that's when they came outside. And like, that always happened when you start to, when you be ready to speak, that's when somebody, that's when shit start, you know, happening. So I was like, actually, and I'm like, yo, I'm ready to go. Then that's when they come outside and he's, he's like, oh, y'all thirsty, da da da, I want anything to eat, anything to drink. I'm like, I gotta charge my phone, my phone is dying. He like, I'm right, cool. So, and then my friend Betty, she was like, oh yeah, like I'm thirsty, da da da. So we go inside. And we sit down, and he, I don't even know what was going on, but I'm, me, me and my friend, we like, I, he gave me a charger, I charged my phone, but it didn't, that charger was in charge of my phone fast enough, like, y'all know those blue leg chargers that don't do shit to your phone? By that time, my phone was already on red. It was like on 10. So by that time, my phone was already dead, and I'm using this bullshit ass charger. So I'm like, okay, okay, at least it's better than nothing, right? The charger had a little shortage too. I remember I had to bend it. It was just too much. So the charger had a little shortage, I had to bend it for it to charge. So we sitting there and I'm like, y'all know me, I'm very vocal, I'm very like blunt. I'm like, okay, you changed your clothes, are we going back out? Like. He like, yeah, 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 I'm waiting for my cousin. He went to go change his clothes too, he'll be back. This is when shit went motherfucking, it ain't even gonna left. I don't even know. It went upside down. It ain't even go upside down. I'm trying to find some. This is when shit had me fucked up, okay? So I'm like, okay, we waiting for your cousin to come back, da 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 so he sits down he puts a tv on he over there sitting there with my friend talking to her you know because that's their little their little vibe you know what i'm saying that's the reason why she even came outside so talking or whatever i'm sitting there i'm on my phone trying to get this charger to work so that you know i can have battery because you know you can't be outside don't know where you at and then don't even got a phone right so trying to get this phone to charge it's hot as a motherfucker in there i forgot to mention that that apartment was hot he had a motherfucking fan. I'm like, you man got all this money, but don't got an AC? Okay. Y'all ain't my type of, y'all not, not my type of guys. Y'all morals and shit is messed up. So I'm like, okay, can you put that fan on? Like, it's really hot. I have makeup on. I have a full face makeup on. We got a full face of makeup on and then you inside and it's hot. No, so I said, can you put that fan on? So he put the fan on, whatever. I'm sitting there. We sitting there waiting. We're waiting. Y'all, I'm going to say an hour, almost two hours go by. But I didn't really realize it because we were all talking and, like, vibing and having conversations about just, like, random stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the conversation we was having, like, he was a cool dude to a certain extent. And we was having conversations. I'm just like, wait. Time is flying right now. So I'm like, it's been like an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, yo, where your cousin at? Like, what's going on? He like, oh, he's coming, he's coming. He just takes forever in the shower, da da da. I'm like, okay. Okay. So we sit in there, we talking, whatever. Him, my friend, they bobbing, whatever. And then I'm getting a little tired. So I'm just sitting there, I'm just like, okay, it's hot. I'm bored. I'm ready to go home. So then like two hours go by and then his fucking cousin comes back. So he walks back in the house. I don't even know why we even sat there that long, but I feel like it got to the point where my friend, she was vibing so much, she didn't even really care. But I'm just saying like, bitch, okay, I'm here. Like, I wanna go party. That's what I came outside for. You get what I'm saying? But me being a friend, I'm like, I'm not gonna leave my friend. So he finally comes back. He comes and sit down next to me and he's trying to talk to me and stuff. And I'm just sitting here looking at him like, if you don't get out of my face. But then like once he got the clue that, okay, she not really feeling me. He, the conversations changed and it started to get into like just a normal conversations that we all was talking as a group and shit. 
She's talking about random stuff. I'm like, then I'm like, ain't you supposed to be going to the club? He said, like, yeah, yeah, you be going out. My cousin took, his, took my car, so I'm waiting for him to bring the car back. I'm like, that's excuse number two. So, you got me fucked up. I'm like, are you lying? Like, at this point, you're lying. You get what I'm saying? He's like, no, 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 I'm not lying. I don't have anything to lie for. I'm waiting for my cousin to come back. Da, da, da. Then, on top of that, I'm charging my phone, and then my phone shut off. At the time I had the, I forgot what I had. I think I had the 10 or something like that. I forgot. Maybe it was the 10 or the, I think it was the 10. So the time I had the 10 and you know when iPhones, they get old, they start acting stupid. So my phone shut off and it didn't turn back on. So I'm putting this charger in. And then when you have a charger that's like, has a shortage in it, you don't really know when it's charging or when it stops charging. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll catch the little battery thing on the phone and they'll say it's charging. But you don't know if you bump it or something, it stops charging. So my phone, I'm thinking my phone's charging. The whole time it's not charging. I'm checking up on it. Shit's still not turning on. So I'm just like, okay, my phone is dead. So I tell my friend, I'm like, my phone is dead. She's like, yo, bro, mine's too. I'm like, okay. So then the cousin, the cousin decides to... Be like, oh, your phone died. I'm like, yeah, my phone died. He's like, oh, I got a charger. Da, da, da. I'm like, go get it for you. He's like, you want to call me upstairs? What? I said, okay, so I know what's going on. Like, I was a little stupid at first, you know? Like, I wasn't even stupid. I knew what was going on from when y'all said he was going to Jersey. But me being who I am and if my friend is... You get what I'm saying? Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I forgot where the freak I was at. So, so he like, oh, I got a charger. I'm, I'm going to go get it for you. He's like, you want to call me upstairs? And then he gives me that weird look. Y'all, I went the fuck off. So let me tell you the buildup. So the buildup started from when my makeup came out wrong. So that's from the beginning. Makeup came out wrong. I paid $40 for Uber. I waited for my friend for 20 minutes. Then I waited for y'all ugly motherfuckers for another 20 minutes. Then y'all scrunched my big ass in a C300. Drove me all the way to Jersey. Let my, made my phone die. Then, had me sitting in this hot ass apartment with no AC. With a full face of makeup on. And then, it don't even end there. You got me waiting for y'all motherfuckers. And I didn't want to leave because my phone was dead. So I'm sitting here like, what the fuck do I do? Then you got the nerve to say, you want to call me upstairs? The fact that I was disrespected like this, when that happened, I, when, when I realized that, I caught the swindle. I caught it. I was like, oh, so y'all wasn't even taking us to no spot in Jersey. Y'all was taking us straight here and thinking y'all was about to catch a kill. Wow. I was mad because I'm sitting here like, I'm not even that bitch that you think that you don't even got to buy food for or take out or even try to basically wine and dine to get some cat. It's like, wow, this is really, and then this is y'all method. To lie. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, we going to the spot. We going to the spot. When you really take me to your house because you think you're about to kill. Wow. You men are sad. So, I was fed up. Let me tell y'all why. Let me tell y'all. I cursed them out. By the time when I got mad and cursed them out, the sun was rising. That's how long we was there. And y'all, I was over it. I was so over it. Like... I was so over it and I'm like, I should have listened to myself when I said I didn't want to go. I should have listened to myself when my makeup didn't come out right. I should have listened to myself and listened to my gut when the Uber was $40. I should have listened to myself when y'all 
tried to play with that corny ass line and say that we're going to the spa in Jersey. What the what spots open up at 12 o'clock midnight in Jersey? Because in New York, when you go out, you, we don't go out. We don't go out late. We go out. I mean, we don't go out early. We go out late. What spot is open up at 12 o'clock? Because by the time I got there, it was like 11 something. And then on top of that, I was waiting for my friend for like 20 minutes. And then I was waiting for them. We was waiting for them. So it was like 12 something by the time they got there. What spot is open up at Jersey at 12 o'clock? So by the time I got up and I cursed all these things out, the sun was coming up. It was like 5 something in the morning. I was so mad. My friend was mad. She was over it. I'm just like, bro, like, don't invite me out. If you don't really know these the men that we going out with, like, don't invite me out if you don't know them, because these little these corny ass little boys really thought they was about to swindle us and they get us some cat. Like, this is how you get cat. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's just like this is sad. I was so over it. Cursed them out. I left. Me and my friend, we left. Then um, we went for Uber. They want to come outside. Oh my God, y'all, I forgot about this shit. They want to come outside and they trying to say, oh, fuck y'all. These was like scammer type of shit. You know, they designed it from head to toe. He's like, they like, fuck out of here, y'all. He's like, oh, we don't we don't even want y'all. We don't, y'all not even our type. How we not y'all, how we not your type if you really did all of that to try to get some cat? You're just mad because you didn't get what you was trying to get. I went off. I'm like, first of all, you're a bum. The fact that you got to sit here and lie to get some coochie, you're a bum. And you don't even get coochie on the record because the fact that you really strategize this whole plan with you and your bum ass cousins to get coochie. Really? Okay, bro, so we're going to do it. We're going to lie. We're going to tell them we take it on the jersey. And take them to the spot, then I'ma say that you went home to go change your clothes and I'm not Really? I was over it. I don't even know how I booked the Uber. I think I had how did I even book a Uber? I don't even know. I think my friend phone like glitched and turned back on, like it was on one percent. And sometimes like back then when the when the phone died. It'll turn back on coincidentally like it'll just turn back on so my friend phone turned back on and she booked a lift Tell me why the lift was like a hundred and eighty dollars. It was an uber a hundred eighty dollars I'm like so we about to spend two hundred dollars to go back home and we in West Bubble fuck in Jersey I was so mad. I got out once I realized that that Uber was that much, and her phone died as soon as she booked it. But when your if your phone dies and you book it, it's still gonna come in the system. Phone died, turned right back off as soon as she booked it. Yo, two hundred dollars. I yo, the niggas are still sitting outside trying to cut our ass. So they in a car. Oh, now I don't know how they, how y'all getting home, and your phone is dead, and they just talking shit. I'm like, you bum ass. I booked the Uber. You thought you was fucking with a broke bitch. Like you thought you thought y'all was fucking with bitches who didn't have no money. I didn't, I would have booked the Uber sooner, but my phone died because you had a bum ass charger, you bum ass nigga. Like I'm just sitting here like, yo, is this really happening to me right now? I should have stayed home. You know how many times I told myself in that Uber ride all the way from Jersey back to Harlem, I should have stayed home. Like thirty times, I should have stayed home. I done wasted a hundred. And forty dollars, and I didn't even do nothing. I was mad. I was so mad. I don't give a fuck if I wasted ten dollars. If I, that ten dollars didn't go to having fun, I'm gonna be mad. I'm wasting money, and I'm not doing nothing. I'm not enjoying my time. Money don't grow on trees, bitch. I could have got my nails done, a pedicure, and a wash set. So we in an Uber and. Me and my friend just really thinking about the fact that they really plotted to get some cat. And then the Uber driver, he chimed in on our conversation. He just like, really? And that happened to you? I'm like, yes. He's like, yo, these young boys, they just, they don't even know what they doing. Like, he's like, they don't even know how to, they don't know how to like, 
they don't know how to how, what he said like they don't know how to um tell the difference between actual women and ladies between like hoes and thoughts i'm like <laughs> literally you you hit it right on the nail like are you serious and it made, me, it made me reflect on myself and be like, okay, how am I presenting myself to where you think that you gonna get some coochie from me on the first leg? So I think I think like that. And I would, you know, be like, okay, let me, do I need to work on myself? Is it me or is it these, or is it these men? It's these stupid ass men. That's what it is. They don't know the difference between a wifey material and a thought. Like they, they learn it now. But it's just like, really? Do I look like a girl that would do that? I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. I knew I should have stayed home. I was so over it. I couldn't believe that I wasted money and did nothing. I couldn't believe that the fact that I ain't trust my gut from when I was getting ready. I couldn't believe the fact that those guys really thought that they could do that. I couldn't believe that I couldn't believe the fact that those guys really thought that that plan was gonna work. Like that plan was so stupid. Like it was so dumb. You did not, y'all did not think that through all the way through. And I could, I, no offense, but they're not from America, so I kind of just already like should have expected that. Like they don't really know what they really doing. They don't really know how to swindle. So I'm sitting here like. Even if you did it the correct way, I still I'm still not that girl. Like I'm still would have been home. I would have been like, save your money, boo. I'm going home. Like, really? I could not believe it, y'all. I was in that hot ass house, no AC, no charger, and these niggas thinking that patiently waiting, thinking that they're about to get some kitty cat. So y'all, that is my story time of alisa's diaries let's just call it that alisa's diaries the shit that i'll be forgetting i'm not gonna call it alisa's diary let's call it lost events in lisa's brain because i don't be remembering this shit i don't care to remember shit it's the past especially when it comes on to just dumbass negative shit like that why would i want to remember it you know so and i'm no longer friends with the girl i forgot to mention that to y'all i'm no longer friends with her but it's just like damn because like I'm that girl. Like, I'm the it girl. You really gonna, yeah, like, yeah, really. But then it's like, maybe they did think, like, oh, she's definitely not. Because I feel like I give up that vibe where I'm like, stay away from me. And don't even try it. Like, I want to give up that vibe to men. Like, I don't want men to even think that they can do that. But I feel like they're men. Of course, they still gonna try regardless. But maybe they did think that and they still went and tried so let me not even let me not even jump and assume that they thought i was just an easy catch but i'm just sitting here like the fact that y'all even did that the fact that y'all even wasted my time y'all could have just jumped to the gun like i'm that girl that you could be keeping a hundred wave and be like yo i just want some kitty cat and i'm gonna be like okay bye like that's me like you don't have to do all of the dinner and the swindling i don't need that i don't need that because i'm gonna be thinking the whole time what you want you know, the whole time while we eating steak, what you want? The whole time when you trying to be nice and sweet and ask me what's my favorite color, what you want? You know, so that's just me. So I'm just that girl, like, you can cut to the chase, what you want? And it's either I'm a vibe with it, which is 100% of the time a hell no. Or I'm a W in a respectful way. I'm just not that girl. I'm that girl, but I'm not that girl. I'm that girl, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm this girl, I'm that girl. I'm not that girl over there. Like, no, you could go try that girl, but this girl is that girl, and you're not gonna do it to this girl, okay? So, that's me. But I hope y'all enjoyed my story time. <sighs> so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I know y'all gonna enjoy this because this shit is funny. It's just crazy. Like, it's just like, men in New York is just insane. Like, but nothing takes the cake. If you can master 
dealing with men in new york you can master dealing with men anywhere like honestly i'm not even gonna lie if you live in any other state if you can master dealing with men in new york just like how if you can master driving in new york you can drive well and master men in any other state because men in new york is something in the water like let's just say that so so let's end this story time here um i love y'all my hair is looking really mother freaking ghetto right now like hello girl what's going on i love y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video